now that we are officially done with Rexall Place, it is really time to start thinking about Rogers Place. And I have some great news for all you hockey fans out there. A thousand more season seats are available for purchase. And Stu McDonald joins me with more details on this. Stu, this is very exciting. Can you tell me what this means? Sure. I guess the, the great advantage of moving across to Rogers Place, other than the spectacular nature of the facility, is a bigger venue. And uh, we've got uh, 1,700 additional seats in Rogers Place compared to Rexall. And so given the demand we've had, we're very fortunate in Edmonton for the passion of our fan base and uh, we've had a season seat cap of 14,000 for the last number of years uh, but with the added capacity at Rogers Place we're going to up that number to 15,000 uh, to allow a greater number of season seat holders to come in and, and join the family. It must be nice seeing the demand for these seats at the new arena. Yeah, we, again, we've been fortunate for where we've been, to, uh, you know, both from a season seat standpoint and, a, and an overall demand for tickets in this marketplace. But to have the amenities we've got at Rogers Place and be able to do this, you know, we've got over 3,000 people on our season seat registry currently. This allows us to get uh, much deeper into that list and potentially add more people to the registry in the coming weeks who might still have a chance at season seats for 16, 17. Do you think these extra thousand seats will really meet the demand or help meet the demand at all? Well, they'll certainly help meet it. Uh, our expectation is that they will sell through and will reach the cap of 15, uh, but this will allow us to get much deeper into the season seat registry. And a number of those people have been on that list for a number of years waiting for their opportunity to seats and, and have been very patient and uh, this is a great chance to reward them. And with that being said, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering just where are these seats available? They'll be, we really open up the entire building. So prior to them will be the season seat holders who have reserved to date, but the balance of the building will be remain open for them. And once their selections are done and we reach our cap of 15,000, then we'll assign mini packs and individual game tickets. And those usually come in the summertime once the league schedule has been announced. But, but there's no seats that will be restricted other than those that have been purchased from people who have come before. Exciting time as we start the countdown to Rogers Place opening. Anything else you want to add, Stu? No, I think, um, you know, if one is a terrific farewell from Rexall. And uh, I think our, everyone's looking forward now to this coming September and having the family move across the street and celebrate, a, a, I think, the most spectacular facility in North America. Oh, it absolutely will be. Now let's just talk about when and where people can get these seats. Uh, if you're a season seat registry member currently, the information's already gone out for you. Uh, if you haven't joined the registry and are interested in becoming a season seat holder, you can do that uh, by logging out edmontonoilers.com. Uh, very easy to find there. And uh, if you do that by Friday, April 22nd, there still is a chance that you may be able to join the season seat family for the 16-17 season. And if not, you'll be put on the list for seats that open up. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's there as long as you continue your membership membership on an annual basis and you just continue to move up the list until uh, the opportunity is there for you to purchase. Wonderful Stu, thank you so much. Like he said, April 22nd is the cutoff. Go to edmontonoilers.com for more information and go get your seats.